Hey, what's up, guys? Ancient here, bringing you another episode of Call of Cthulhu. In the last episode, we just beat the shit out of the Shambler with daggers and paintings and stuff. And now, Freud's the cat. Of dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Oh, wait. Shit. I didn't. Um... Where is it? Oh, yeah. They use the same wireframe for Charles Hawkins and Silas Winchester. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. The pastor declared himself to be the prophet. He renounced God and worshipped a strange pagan entity, entity with a monstrous appearance. His wife tried to reason with her husband, but in vain. He was convinced that he must listen to this voice in his head because it holds the truth. Maybe. Maybe, uh. Can't open that door. Hello? Hello? Hawaii? Hawaii? What? Dark water history. A Puritan colony led by Reverend John Wickwood settled on the island during the 17th century. Why is there an E at the end of 17th? Well, typo. They named the island Darkwater because of the dark shades of the sea. They believed it was because of the peculiar rocks surrounding the island. Peculiar color of the rocks surrounding the island. They erected the first buildings among which were the Hawkins Manor, the church, and the cem- The cemetery is not a building, what? The rare documents and handwritten notes they left spoke of nightmares and deviant behaviors. They disappeared at the beginning of the 18th century. See, a cemetery is an area, like, surrounded by- mo- well, most of the time surrounded by fences. That's just... no. And what is with all the green smoke around every single lamp on this island? Kinda weird. Does Cthulhu control the lamps? Is that what this is about? Also, what the hell happened to this? What happened here? Aha! Uh -huh. In the 19th century, as American whaling industry reached its peak in the rest of the world, whales gradually disappeared from the waters surrounding dark water. This phenomenon appears even more mysterious because, up till then, the region was a favored refuge refuge for crust for cetaceans. For cetaceans, I don't know how the fuck to say that. I've never heard that word before. In 1847, after months of pursuit, Scylla returns to port with a gigantic creature on board. Its crew asserts that the sea monster had eaten all the disappeared whales. After a night of ferocious combat, the survivors managed to drag the beast onto the whaling ship and miraculously not sink it. A goblet. Interesting. Uh, 
All right, yeah. Hmm. What else is there in this said in this bookstore? Why is it purple? The Book of Ooh. Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's Theosophical Movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. The, these Tibetan writings are at the origin of the esoteric movement founded by Helena Blavatsky at the end of the 19th century. The creator of theo theosophy, theosophy would have drawn extensively on the texts of this work, but no one has ever been able to consult them. I thought they didn't exist. This book, discovered in the nameless bookstore on Darkwater, could be as much a fake as irrefutable proof of Blavatsky's insincerity. Cool. Oh yeah, yeah, cultism progression. Riviera of Medicine. Even a few years back, it was possible for a single protection practitioner to know all the no medical knowledge of his time. Shows that this is now virtually impossible. Wait, this book, which concludes the series, shows that this is now virtually impossible. About ten renowned doctors took part in putting together this collection. Glorious. does this strange book contain? This book contains unholy knowledge. Perfect. This collection of catalogs and classifies... This collection catalogs and classifies creatures that I had never heard of. Divinities from the stars. Creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. It presents itself as the reference work on the bestiary of the myth without giving details on the mythology to which it refers. Its pages are covered with phantasmagorical illustrations, such as The Shambler. I have this feeling that said Shambler is going to pop out in this bookstore. Searching for books, searching for books. Searching, 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 searching. Oh, a skull. Cool. Right, yeah, that was just that thing, the oil. What, a skeleton? What the fuck is a skeleton doing in here? Anatomy and Dissection. As precise and illustrated with as much detail as the first volume, this book focuses on healing surgery specific to malformations and motor disorder. Disorders. Yeah. Fucking unable to speak now. Unable to speak. What happened here? Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Blood. Seems like amateur work. Uh, well, I assume that forensics didn't exist back then, so...
This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. Oh. Someone tall left this footprint. A man, probably. Yes. 